Hi, Cancerians and Cross Watchers. Um, this is Amna from Soulmate Tarot, and today we are doing your mid monthly 15th to the 31st of May uh, love reading. Uh, please keep in mind that these are general messages. They may or may not uh, resonate with you. If they resonate with you, please like and subscribe to the channel. If they don't resonate with you, just let them fly. Uh, check out some amazing tarot card readers on YouTube and let's get started. Um, before we begin your reading and pre-shuffle while I was meditating on your cards. Um, so um, in my reading, I kept on hearing the word reading. Um, at first, I didn't know who's wedding. Um, and I could have said that uh, maybe some of you are getting married. But no, because that changed. And when I focused more, a completely different scenario um, came into my head, which again points towards wedding. Bear with me. Um, kept on hearing uh, weddings and then I finally tapped into um, deep tap deeper and uh, I um, was transported to um, preparing for my friend's wedding um, I know she is um, she's a very nice person who's in um, who is in love with someone uh, and uh, I was I was in charge of everything and you know she made me like in charge of everything and I had to manage each and everything and the first and foremost duty among all those was to keep her sane uh, during all this time period um, judging from hearing wedding and then preparing for the wedding um, but she specifically says that you have to keep me sane. You have to keep me sane. Um, I think um, you are basically connecting with someone um, at a soul level. Uh, at a soul level. It's a very strong connection. It's a very strong connection. But it's a kind of a crossed connection. Uh, like you guys could be... Um, you guys could be apart. You guys could be... Um, there could, you know, uh, literally distance between you two, um, or could be emotional distance between you two, but you are um, connecting with someone at a soul level. Uh, for those of you who are single, um, yeah, the, uh, some somebody is coming into your life, but. Uh, Keep in mind that they might connect with you uh, at a soul level. You you probably think that uh, it's a soul connection and um, whatnot, but um, no, it's a cross love. It's a cross love. It's it's love and lost kind of a situation for you. Because as I probably, you know, moved into um, my state, um, I actually saw the wedding day and my friend getting ready in jitters and at the last moment she was like, I'm, I cannot handle all this. I, I don't know if I'll be able to handle um, the stress of married life as well. And I, I remember, um, you know, having this conversation with her. Um, during this, during that time period um, of uh, you know the state, um, so yes, there's a lot of confusion in um, uh, in this relationship. There's a lot of um, ambiguity. There's a lot of um, you might be connecting. Like I said, the connection is very strong, but again, bickering. It's gonna. It's gonna. That give it some time and it will unravel itself 
uh, don't make any decisions um, yet not at least um, the Gemini season is over and your season starts because um, then probably you might know this would also be Pluto uh, in retrograde I don't know if Pluto is still in retrograde or not I don't remember exactly um, but uh, don't take any harsh decisions um, think over them because there will be uh, there will be some talk about having cold feet or um, having second thoughts and things like that and I don't want you to get caught up in that I want you to look at the bright side and uh, just move on with your life all right let's get your reading I not ask my question yet but that was ten of swords um, Gemini of Cancer Cancerian 15 to the 31st of May 2019 uh, if this card is supposed to come back it will it will show itself again seven of wands Knight of Pentacles The Death card, here comes Scorpio And the change Seven, oh, Nine of Cups See, I told you If a card is supposed to come in a reading, it will it will come again. Ten of Swords. Strength card. Mm, two major arcanas. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Wheel of Fortune, third major arcana. One more. I said one more. Two of Cups in reverse. Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess in reverse. You could do. Mm, you could be dealing with a water sign, particularly Scorpio. Scorpios are very intuitive. We have Scorpio in this being. But if I look at it, I can see every other sign here. Hmm. 
Mm. Anyways, um, let's uh, get into your reading. Um, I think... You have your guard up um, against someone. Yeah, I will get it from the clarifiers. With the Seven of Wands, you're like fighting a battle alone. You have your guard up um, against a lot of uh, adversity, but uh, you're alone in this. You are alone in this. The other person is not. If it it takes two to make a relationship work, and here I see you working it alone and then we have the knight of pentacles we'll see it could be a new opportunity um from someone who's uh, very methodical um someone who is um very mm, uh, someone who you know who digs deeper into things and uh, know all the facts and figures before getting into new things um, before making a decision someone um, who you know weighs all the pro pros and cons before and they're very uh, mature but young kind of person mature and mixture of um, both um, mature in the sense that yes they have uh, they they are mature than their age <clears throat> and this could also be um, a card of um, you know warning that you have to be a little careful in your life you have to see things from different perspectives you have to be methodical you have to be um, you have to do your research you have to be you have to check out every different aspect of your relationship you have a look at it from different angles and see what it is um, we'll see from the clarifiers whether it's any opportunity or not or whether you are taking on the energy of this one a change is coming into your life um, definitely could be dealing with um, uh, Scorpio as well um, but uh, very fast change very fast change and um, as much as um, uh, you know this change whenever change happens it you can either take it positively or negatively but I see you um, not taking it well nine of cups is a very uh, it's a very good card um, it's about being very socially active and content and uh, friendly uh, so you'll be socializing a lot um, but inside I think you are feeling deep down inside you're feeling the pain because these two cards came in together um, you cannot be happy and sad at the same moment um, it's o it only can be that you you're masking your uh, grief by being friendly social happy content um, putting on a mask the universe is universe has given you a change universe is also giving you strength to deal with it sorry they were in positions to deal with it and there's another reason um, why I'm saying that um, you're masking your um, grief is because um, we have the page of Pentacles in reverse here we are also feeling out of your um, out of your comfort zone disconnected from your mojo disconnected um, you know feel and feeling as if you've lost uh, the only thing you had in life and um, you, you're like bored now you are feeling unlucky bored that kind of you no know, feeling but Again, the, the universe is all, you know, working in your favor all, all, in all of these. With all of these major arcana cards, the universe is working in your favor by giving you the change, then by giving you strength to deal with that change, and now giving you luck with the Wheel of Fortune, giving you luck. Because the universe is telling you that you have to be separated from this person. 
because something else something better will come for some of you this could also mean divorce and separation um, for those who are single it means um, something better is in store for you uh, you might be um, you know feeling lonely but something better is in store for you and it's coming for you because the change has brought it and when change comes things change very when death card comes uh, it's it's card of recreation um, so things you know change very swiftly if you allow that to seven of wands what is the seven of wands doing here the hangman at least somebody is thinking clearly you're clear headed you're like deep inside your thoughts and willing to fight the battles which are come, which are thrown your way out of nowhere you never wanted them But at the same time, it's haunting you. It's giving you sleepless nights. It's giving you anxiety. It's giving you a lot of stress. That's why this change is here. Hmm. I get it. You see, um, you have your um, you're fighting alone. You're alone in this fight. The other person is long gone. But you are also thinking clearly at the same time. But uh, um, you're thinking clearly you you're like okay fine I have to fight my own battles but at the same time you this is troubling you a lot this is like giving you a lot of anxiety a lot of depression something which is not good and I think now that let's see let's see what is this knight of pentacles is here for is this knight of pentacles doing here uh, I'm I'm really sure that this is this is not an opportunity. This is you taking universe giving you a sign that you have to take on the energy of the Knight of Pentacles, who is way too methodical, who looks at different perspectives, who does his research, um, who uh, who weighs everything in you know what's good and what's not. What is the Knight of Pentacles doing here? Today cards are not talking. Hmm, these are way too many. Otherwise, I would have taken that. It's definitely not an opportunity. Knight of Pentacles is clarified by Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Tower in reverse. So it's not an opportunity. It's it's a warning from the universe that you have to take on this energy and you have to think about yourself. Your ship is sinking and you have to think about this about yourself. I was looking at the death card yeah a lot of misconception a lot of um, a lot of deceit but the good thing is with the change everything will be clear what is this nine of cups doing here mm, again five of swords you're masking it you're masking your grief. Not it's clear.
don't mask your grief universe has given you strength to deal with it what is this ten of swords doing here ten of swords is clarified by three of pentacles means yeah definitely the other person is you are fighting alone the other person is not here the other person is not willing to give anything in this relationship not willing to work on this relationship and that's why you got hurt that's why you have the tower uh, moment in reverse because you were willing to give in all um, your effort and energy with this strength for doing here um, in this relationship but the other person was not the other person was not willing to do anything invest any time or the universe is giving you strength to deal with your scattered emotions something you were holding on to for a very long time emotions you were holding on to for, for a very very long time now it's time to let go of them the universe is telling you to let go of them that's why uh, it's giving you only anxiety and depression that's why the universe gave you you know um, this warning sign that whether you end it or change will happen um, and we see that the change has happened and with change a lot of controversy has unraveled and a lot of different things have become clear in your life that the other person was not in this situation with you. They were working, you were working solo. What is this page of pentacles doing here? You were working solo in this relationship and you were taking on all the burden and anxiety and depression of being alone in this relationship. Knight of pentacles is clarified by the death card. So the change is making you feel unlucky and bored and you were not happy and the three of cups and you want to, to be with that person you want to be happy either you want to be with that person or you want to be happy either you want a reconciliation or you want to be happy the luck is on your side but we have the two of cups in your purse here so I don't think it's a reconciliation. Mm. What is the wheel of fortune? Wheel of fortune, as I said, and um, Seven of Swords in reverse came in. Luck is on your side because you have so many deceitful liars and friends, frenemies, I call them, um, hiding in plain sight. Um, but you need definitely need strength and you definitely need luck on your side to deal with them. You should be thankful to the universe. What is this two of cups in your verse here for? Two of cups in reverse is clarified by ten of swords. Same thing, even worse. Not meant to be together because this is nothing but painful endings. I see you as you know being the bid honor and we have the three of cups here so you wanted to be with that person maybe and now you're crying over past don't do that to yourself you should be thankful that the universe has brought you change and the strength to deal with that change and all of that was good because the cards are saying it Take an oracle card for you. All right, Q 
Cupid. Um, this hardly comes up anyway. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. So the universe is telling you again and again to love your own life first. Then others will follow. But first you have to love your own life. Which you were not doing here with this person. You're not able to do that with this person. It was just way too much hurt, way too much anxiety, way too much deceit, um, lies. So many lies and deceit. And you were not willing to accept this change. You're like unhappy about this change. But you shouldn't be because this is this is a blessing, honestly. Sometimes the universe saves us from something which could have destroyed us if we had stayed in there for longer. Anyways, um, this is not really a um, great reading, I know. But um, I hope you take good advice from it. Um, for those of you who are going through any of this situation, um, many blessings to you to deal with it and just accept the change, give it out uh, to the universe and your healing will start. Because you've been hurt many times in this relationship and I think you should give your happiness a chance, not the other person's happiness, your happiness a chance. Alright guys, I'll see you next month. Bye.